I'm calling Dibs goes in, could be a tad short for him. But anti Pegasus goes in. Full of fire goes in. Seven year reward stands up. Only awaiting hammer tone. Dunners and uh, the very speedy old world of pain. Well, the pain comes up with the four kilo claiming Gemma Edwards aboard. I asked her what it's like riding in the dust and she said, good. The grey hammer tone goes into line. And only awaiting Dunners, Robert Burroughs trained runner from Mount Isa, been racing down in town for Joe Hassett had this thing, I believe. And we've got a line. Racing, they got away to a pretty good start there, and who's gonna, one of the best to begin was full of fire on the inside, and full of fire is gonna take up the run and only momentarily from Frush Ombre on the outside of that is a stable mate, seven year reward. Back about a length as though then to the Keithy Billard runner, I refer to Magic Town, then back to full of fire who dropped right out of it, and Hammer Tone, the grey is back where it n never normally is at this stage of the race, and World of Pain is there, and I'm calling Dibs is back on the tail of the field. No change in the order they've raced around. They've got four, 500 long metres left to go and still out in front is Seven Year Reward. It's going to try and do a repeat to the dose of what it did at Ewan and Seven Year Reward has got a break of about a half a length or so on the outside of that. Then comes the Grey Hammer Tone who should be going to swing into the race at any time and, and right down the outside there's Dunners that snuck through in the middle. Magic Town there. Back on the fence there. Seven Year Reward. Seven Year Reward still in front. Here comes the runners and it's set down the outside Magic Town and Magic Town's got up to beat Dunnis, seven year reward, hammer tone, full of fire, flash ombre, and then back to I'm calling Dibs, Brianchi Pegasus, and uh, World of Pain. That bail up, did it? Yeah, I got a new one in my pocket, mate. Oh, well.